Welcome back, everyone. Yesterday, we learned someone in Monroe County has come down with West Nile virus, making it the seventh case in New York State this year. The virus is carried by mosquitoes, and today, Emily Noonan found out pest control experts are taking steps to control the mosquito population. This is the time of year when people are at high risk for getting infected with the West Nile virus. And the recent weather conditions aren't helping. Now the rains move in, the nights are getting cooler, there's a lot of dew and, and moisture. The mosquitoes start breeding more rapidly and the population gets a little bit higher. Dale Lardner with Exodus Exterminating says there are treatments to ward them off. It's more of a barrier treatment. The industry calls it kind of a barrier. What we're doing in essence with mosquito control is killing adults. It kills up to 90% of mosquitoes. However, Monroe County is considered an opt-in county, so lawn applications must be notified to neighbors. That being said, Exodus issues an organic-based pesticide that is considered EPA-exempt material. They're lower risk, so they're not required to have um, go through the stringent testing that conventional insecticides are. Still, they will post flags around the yard, and this treatment will have to be reapplied every two to three weeks. It should not be mistaken as a shield. It won't prevent mosquitoes coming in from outside the property boundaries. But experts say before doing any type of application, make sure you're checking for standing water near your home. So clearing out the gutters, changing the bird baths, and even clearing off the pool covers, these places are most at risk for breeding. In Greece, Emily Noonan, News 8. Emily, thank you. Experts also recommend wearing mosquito repellents containing DEET and minimizing outdoor activity at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active.